a couple weeks ago I came out with a build video of some kind of floor lamp that looked like a pickaxe kind of thing and after I was done with that I realized I had a lot of these two foot pieces of Baltic birch left so I'm gonna try to make some use out of those now and come up with some little plan to, to get rid of everything. I wanted something that I could build fairly quickly and easily so I came up with this little triangular shaped table lamp on SketchUp and I pretty much just went for it. So the first thing I needed to do was to work out the shape of the templates that I'll be using and try to get all three sides as symmetrical as possible. I'm sure there's probably a way more accurate way to make these three perfect sides, but this was actually the best I can think of at the time. So instead, I got them to match up as close as possible to each other and I labeled each piece so it'd be easier to keep track of later on down the line. So after I got those MDF templates shaped and sanded to where I wanted them, I went ahead and grabbed those pieces and attached them to the scrap pieces and I just rough cut them on the bandsaw. Here you see me using the templates that I just made to squeeze in as many pieces as I could on the scraps. To have a nice contrast against the light colored plywood, I used 3 quarter inch walnut that I had laying around. Then I just followed the same process as before to cut the three sides. Now that I got all the scraps rough cut, I can now bring the pieces back down to the router and use my flush trim bit to get them all trimmed down to size. This was the first time I've had to use my router on such small cuts of wood, so I admit it was a little nerve wracking in the beginning. But as long as I applied pressure downward and evenly, I was able to control it much better and save my fingers. The rest of the build was just cut, sand, and repeat. Not very exciting. Then I can move on to glue up. Gluing the sides was a little more tricky just because of how much I had to sand to get the three sides to touch evenly. Either way it came out pretty good. Next I grabbed a three quarter inch dowel and I cut and sanded about a million of these little quarter inch pieces that would go in between each of the triangle layers. Then I did a little dry test before finishing. Then it was time for glue and assembly. So the original plan was to run the dowels all the way through the sides, but considering how skinny some of the pieces were, I just decided to stack them so I can simulate that look instead. Which kind of came out a little wonky, but still looked pretty cool. Last, I sized up and cut out a thin sheet of veneer for the inside of the lamp to help diffuse the light. Then I ran lighting and I was pretty much done. Thanks for watching and don't forget, subscribe.